Boko people don't come. Tunubu in danger as the Bokos do the unthinkable. See how bandits slaughter and adopt FCT residents. Now, these people, they don't decide to show themselves. They don't decide to come out and display as them talk. And that is the reason why everybody needs to be very careful. More than careful. Or else, oh, oh. and to see, we could take. Look, we quickly check the content, my people. This one are today's news. In a disturbing escalation of violence, Boko Kum bandits have intensified their speed of attack in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja. The latest onslaught, which occurred on a Wednesday morning, marked the fifth in series of attacks since the Bokos are doing what they are doing. Which occurred on Wednesday morning. During this recent episode, two police officers violently faced off against the bandits, resulting in their alleged injury. Reliable sources indicated, saying that the wounded officers have been swiftly transported to a nearby hospital for medical attention. Simultaneously, an undisclosed number of residents fell victims to the bloodthirsty bandits in the Zuma community, Buari Area Council, as they were kidnapped amid the chaos. The toll of the attacks becomes even more disheartening as the Bokus have thus far kidnapped over 55 victims and the death toll has climbed to more than three individuals. Among the casualties was the wife of a redeemed Christian Church of God pastor who had previously fallen victim to the Bokus while she was recuperating from the loss of her husband. The Boko callously contacted her, demanding a ransom for her two kidnapped children who are currently held captive in the bandit camp. Overwhelmed by grief and the unbearable agony of her two tender children, aged seven and nine, the bereaved women succumbed to the emotional strain, slipped into a coma before passing away on Tuesday. This heartbreaking incident underscores the profound psychological toll these attacks exert on the victims and their families. All right, um, my people, this is exactly what was said. But be that as it may, what I will just say is that everybody just needs to be careful because these Boko people, they are now out, as in they are out and ready to do anything. They are out to kill to destroy and to steal you know now that in, you know that Tunubu you know has refused to give them attention so they are now taking it in anger they don't want to hear now they are now taking action against Tunubu and you know wanting to do the undoable you understand so everybody need to keep his eyes open and be watchful you know over this unnecessary attack that's just it so um be that as it may i would really like to to hear from you and to know what your take and what your advice on what has just been revealed right now maybe it is a pleasure don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time 
we upload any new videos. Thank you.